Hey guys, um, I want to talk a little bit about the mainstream media. It, it seems to be the only group uh, losing credibility faster is our Congress, our so-called representatives. Um, a, about a year ago, a poll came out showing 53% of Americans surveyed. Now, these are just regular people, not necessarily tuning in to YouTube channels or other alternative media. 53% of people surveyed said they no longer trust the mainstream media. They no longer uh, could rely on the accuracy of reporting. And certainly, they can't rely on the agenda of what's generating these stories. Now, people on YouTube here and alternative media have been saying for quite some time, you can't filter 80 to 90% of the news through a half a dozen giant uh, media corporations and expect to see anything served other than the corporatocracy. And that's exactly what we've seen, and that's why you have more and more of the masses uh, waking up in their own way to realize that they're hearing the same story on every single channel, that when they tune in to talk shows, they hear the same thing talked about. You know, they just put the red team or the blue team spin on it, but the stories generated are all the same. The talking points are all the same. Now, when you, when you have a media serving this corporatocracy and focusing your attention in one direction, then you should be looking someplace else because that's probably where the story's at. Take, for example, the TSA. We've been hammered with this story for over a week now. You know, the, and it is a, a, an outrageous story, you know, when we're getting patted down and naked body scanners. But the time to cover this mainstream media isn't now. The time is almost a decade ago when the uh, Liberty Usurping Patriot Act was signed into law and the TSA was uh, born. You know, the TSA just didn't start doing pat-downs last week. They've been doing them for seven years. So why all the focus on this story? I don't know. It could be to hide real news, like the fact that uh, the Ponzilla has uh, broken free and we are truly living uh, in a Ponzi scheme system now because as of yesterday the Federal Reserve became the largest holder of U.S. debt, $891.3 billion, uh, surpassing China's $884 billion. That means the largest holder of our debt is no longer a sovereign nation. It is a private bank. And them who control the debt of a nation, uh, in essence, control the nation. Another story that just came out that you know, you're know you not going to hear about be through all the TSA uh, banter going about is that uh, Wall Street insiders, you know, the FBI is raiding hedge funds left and right, and we could be facing and looking at um, the largest insider trading uh, scandal in the history of the planet uh, breaking loose. But, but still, we don't hear these stories. And the fact that uh, selling now on Wall Street is 8,000 times buying on Wall Street. These are stories that are just being missed and they're being glanced over while the mainstream media serves corporate interest and keeps the anger and the fervor of the nation pointed in certain directions. Stories are attached. That's all I got.